this is my Canon EF. I got it about a month ago and it worked fine. I didn't test haven't tested it yet with film because film is there's a bit of a shortage. Yeah, it's quite yeah, quite expensive if you can even find any. But anyway, I got it a month ago and it all worked fine. And then yesterday I got out of the cupboard and the battery test light wouldn't come on anymore. Now I was quite worried at that point because yeah, these things they're very hard to fix apparently or get fixed. Yeah, because the mechanism is apparently weird and complicated. Anyway, I thought, oh, maybe it's a flat battery. So I got the batteries out, and when I tested, this is one of them, and this is quite interesting. When I test it, there's nothing. This thing is completely dead. No matter what, yeah, even, <laughs> there's nothing coming from it at all. Whereas if I have this good battery here, You get yeah, a little over 1.5. Yeah, a little over 1.5 volts. So there, yeah, one of the batteries was completely flat, and I suppose that that would do it. That would that would make this camera, the meter and the long shutter speeds not work, and the battery test clamp, of course, not work because it needs both batteries to function. So maybe when I bought it, one of the batteries was almost dead already, or something's gone wrong with this one. So I thought, okay, I'll just swap the batteries. Now, what I do is when when I need to change the batteries on these on these old cameras, I just get uh, one of these little alkaline ones. I know they're not proper. You're supposed to get ones that have a, the correct voltage. Well, you can't really get ones that have the correct voltage, but that have a sort of consistent voltage for most of their lifespan. But I've found these work fine, and especially with this camera, which regulates it. This is one of the few cameras from the 70s that you can... Act, yeah, you don't have to... You don't technically have to adjust its exposure thing because it would it will comp it will it will regulate the voltage for the correct voltage for the meter because the meter is calibrated for a certain voltage the light meter. Anyway, I've rambled on about that enough. I will just replace them with these batteries, and because they're smaller, as you can see, I will put an O-ring around it, a rubber O-ring, and this keeps it from bouncing about. Now, actually, I didn't even do that at first, and when I put them in, it was completely dead. Did not do anything. Nothing happened at all. And I thought, oh, well, maybe it's because there's no O-ring. It's moving on an angle. So I put the O-rings on yeah, today, and still no life. There was still no life from it. And that's when I had a closer look at the battery, at the, you know, the little battery connectors here. Because if you look, yes, there is a what well, looks like a contact, this little spring thing here with a little plus on it. Here is the battery. This was the other one of the, what was it, 625 battery, which works fine. And then there's the negative contact. Or so it seems. However, there, I noticed there's a metal ring around here at the bottom. And I thought, and then, yeah, well, and then I looked and there's actually a white insulation on this little cover, on this screw, screw on cover, battery cover, which so it doesn't make contact here. So that means this thing doesn't make really any contact with anything because the case here doesn't seem to be connected to that metal ring, and that metal ring seems to be the plus contact. So I thought maybe that's the problem. Maybe that's why, because when you put this in here, I'll just show you. That's not going to make any contact because of the O-ring, and even without the O-ring, it will fit in this. It'll probably be held in the center when this comes down. So that was the problem. I thought. Hopefully, I thought. And so my solution was. I'll just show it. Hopefully, I don't mess it up. But I just got some foil, and loaded. Oh, I'll get some proper batteries at some point. But for now, the solution was simply to get some foil. Tuck it in there so that it makes contact with the lower ring and put it on top so it makes contact with the positive terminal. And then just screw down. These are quite tricky to close up. Good coin before I scratch it all up. There we go. Anyway, I did all that and 
Yeah, I think the contact didn't make contact. <laughs> that was anticlimactic. I should have shown it. That's why I want to get the proper batteries because this foil setup is very touchy here. I just have to hold it in place. I didn't put the dead battery in, did I? <laughs> this is a very professional video. Ah. That's the problem. I put the dead battery in. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to cut that out. <laughs> I would. I usually would cut out stupid stuff like that, but no. Nah, for a short, if it's for what's well, going to be a short video anyway. Well, short compared to some of my other videos. I'm going to leave that in because yeah, <laughs> best to put your dead ones far away. From the light, from the still good batteries, so you don't think things are broken. You don't have to put things in three or four times. Come on. Yeah, this is so difficult with the correct battery. There we are. And now. The test lamp flashes perfectly. So yeah, that, my problem was that wasn't working, and the slower speeds and the meter weren't working either. But now it all seems to work properly. I don't know if you can actually see the meter through. There you can see the meter, and you can see it's giving a reading, because when I... There's an off switch, and you can see it goes, it goes to the top. So yeah, my Canon EF is fine. But that's very, which is very good because yeah, this camera apparently quite complex. They do break because they're a weird, apparently a weird, rather weird design. And yeah, getting them fixed would be very difficult, and it would probably be expensive if I could even find anyone who would touch it. Yeah. So before panicking like I did, uh, try yeah, put foil on or just get the correct battery because yeah, this sort of thing won't work with this camera at least yeah because of the weird design. Normally the cap is the contact, but here it isn't. It's the edge. Well, there you go. Bye.